What's up everybody, it's your boy KG back with a brand new video regarding Marvel's Midnight Suns and I'm positive that the title made it very clear. Today we're going to be talking about why I believe PvP could work for the game and how it could be going forward with future content. Now I know that some of you are either thinking or saying at this current moment in time that this game doesn't need PvP or PvP doesn't need to be added into every single game in general and I agree with you but everything that I'm about to say right here ties into why I think PvP could work with this game so stick with me here and let me explain. Now me specifically, I come from a background of turn based games both video games and actual TCGs like Yu-Gi-Oh, Bakugan, Vanguard, Skulls of the Shogun some others and more now when done right it can be a very very fun thing you can't sit here and tell me that as a kid you didn't get filled with joy whenever you made a comeback and you beat your best friend with dark magician or blue eyes white dragon that feeling of knowing that you have straight fire in your hand and that if you play it right you get to walk away with bragging rights midnight suns honestly when i first saw it one of my first questions was would it be co-op would there be online play of some kind Sadly, no, it is single player for now, but we do know that in the future, if things go well, they would like to explore DLC content in some new areas. Now, what that would mean is new characters, new cars, new enemies. The supernatural world of Marvel is a lot bigger than you would actually think. And some people might not have caught on to this, but the groundwork for PVP may have already been laid out in some capacity with the corrupted heroes that were, that you're gonna be fighting in the game. I'll jump back over to that fun fact in just a moment. Now, turn-based PVP wouldn't be new to Fire Axis developers because they are behind two of the biggest strategy-based games of all time, XCOM and Civilization. And even though Midnight Suns has been built on an entirely new and entirely different system, there's still all that brain power and experience from being in that genre of gaming to make sure that we still get the best content possible and available. Now, in my head, right, there's two main ways that I have all of this playing out. And I'm going to go ahead and explain each one, starting with the corrupted heroes that I mentioned earlier, known as the Fallen. Now, the gist behind this is that Lilith, the main antagonist of the game, has the power to corrupt anybody that she can get her hands on, turning them into one of her most loyal minions. Now, PvP for this would be most comparable to a game like Contest of Champions, a mobile Marvel fighting game. Now, Marvel's Contest of Champions uses an asynchronous PvP system. This means that you are fighting AI using real opponent's characters. So technically, it's still PvP, it's just not real time. You will go ahead, you will update your team loadouts with the characters and cards that you want, and then you will send them off into the world. Other players would find your teams, challenge them and face off against them, against your AI control team, and then your account would keep a record of that. Even offering you a chance whenever you get back onto the game and you check your records to see who has like like who has fought you, if a random fought you or if your friends decided to fight one of your teams, it would offer you a chance for a revenge match against the most recent person that beat your team and vice versa. And after you win so many matches in a row, well, let's say you end up placing high in the leaderboards at the end of the week or the end of the current season, you could get special gifts like certain cosmetics of characters or new art for your action cards or things that you can use to decorate and use around the Abbey, which is your home base. I specifically said nothing about cars themselves however as a reward because that would be something that everybody wouldn't be able to get and depending on what that car would be it could be either a major hindrance or a problem to players in pvp which as we know eventually all leads to the community looking for some hard nerfs to get dished out now the second way would be a bit more complex this one revolves around real time pvp so both players would load into a match and start playing like normal with some changes here and there. Both players would have their main teams and a selection of minions by their side. So just about two or three, because that seems like the sweet, the sweet spot for num uh, number wise with them on the field as they begin to start. Each player would have two phases, your setup phase and your attack phase. You do what you need to get done during your setup phase. So like, for example, you could go ahead and you can move Dr. Strange about seven feet over to the left so that he can focus the enemy Iron Man during the battle phase. And you can move your Ghost Rider towards the back of your area because he's low on health and you're trying to play it safe. But you also end up playing it smart and you move Ghost Rider behind a dumpster. So that way, once the battle phase gets here 
and you can interact with the surrounding area. After you attack with Doctor Strange, the weak Ghost Rider can kick that dumpster into Iron Man, doing damage and finishing him off. And then you have people like Wolverine who can activate a taunt during the uh, who can activate a taunt during the battle phase, which means that the enemy is stuck targeting him for a certain period of time during their battle phase. Now the attack process for every character is that they would finish their action before the phase is over. So for example, Doctor Strange does his attack, Ghost Rider gets to safety, and Nico Minoru activates a heal for her and her teammates and then it swaps over to the other players so that they can take their turn now the base number of members that you can have on the team is three and the hunter must be a part of that three-man team whenever you're doing single player content but for pvp however this could be a different story so i see two modes here casual and competitive now casual mode would lift the restraints and let you use it to a max of four heroes and two minions and you would be able to use any heroes that you so wish to competitive will still allow you to use whoever you wish but the hero number drops to three making it a total of three heroes and three minions now i won't be speaking on banning cards or anything in that nature because one we don't really know what 90 or like 85 percent of the cards look like or it can even do to begin with and i honestly don't think that banning would even become an issue here because midnight suns while yes it still is a turn-based game i don't feel like in the long run banning would ever need to really become an issue if anything cards can just receive buffs and nerfs or like major changes i i don't really see the need for banning that's just my case but that those are my thoughts on it now after all that i think that pretty much sums up all of the thoughts that i have in my head now pvp may never be added into midnight suns and if that's the case so be it i overall had fun working on this video and even though my thoughts here may not have been super in depth i still feel like i said what it was that i had wanted to say to begin with and i'm happy with that so with that being said that marks the end of the video I hope you all had a great time and if you did make sure to smack that subscribe and like button and hit the bell as well so you can keep up with all of my future midnight suns content because youtube's algorithm doesn't really like to push my stuff forward out to you guys and let me know how you guys feel out in the comments below about this entire video or just the whole aspect in general do you think midnight suns needs a pvp mode do you think it could work do you think it won't work whatever is on your mind just go ahead and share it and i will catch you guys in the moonlight Peace. I'm turning my luck around. Come watch me like life be 60. Yeah, I be so twisted, looking like a double helix, man. Is it the 50? I'm feeling dizzy, bitch. I gotta eat. Flipping through busy, but you kinda cheat. Hey, I ain't not been nowhere. Only know her. We spoke no words.